Hi guys, today I wanted to show you some Valentine tags that I've made. Uh, this one that we're looking at, I cut this on the Cricut using Plant and School Book, and I distressed, oops, I distressed the edges with tea dye ink, and also a dark brown ink and do dye ink, and then I went around the edges with the Studio G Gold um, pigment ink. And then the the stamp right here is from Ink and do The gems are just the cheapy gems you can buy at Walmart or Joanne. And this butterfly right here, I punched that out with my Martha Stewart butterfly punch. And then I embossed each one of them with this gold embossing powder. And they're stuck on using this glue right here that everyone seems to be using. It is fabulous. And let's see. And the next tag we have was also cut on the Cricut, featuring stamps from Ink and Dink and Do. And the hearts I cut out with my Martha Stewart heart punch. I would used Distress Inks in tea dye and fired brick. I also used the Ink and Dink and Do dark brown pigment ink. And on the hearts I used a sheer gold paint to go over the top of them after I stamped on them. And here I used some green glitter glue to give the leaves some pop. This tag was also cut on the Cricut using the same Distress inks as before. The stamp is from Autumn Leaves from their Swirls set. Um, this little guy right here is from Inka Dinka Do, and the sentiment is from Studio G. And to make the lollipop flower, I used tissue paper that I hand cut into three different circle sizes, and I edged it with antique linen stickles, and that button is one of the ones that I had gotten from Goodwill. And I forgot to mention that each of these tags have been misted with homemade Perfect Pearls Mist in Perfect Gold. And this next tag is one of my favorites. I purchased the tag base at Staples. It features the same techniques as the first tag I showed you, except the sentiment comes from Inka Dinka Do. I used the tea dye and the dark brown pigment ink to distress with, and it was also sprayed with a Perfect Pearls Mist. Okay, this next tag was cut on the Cricut. I used Distress Ink and Fired Brick. The Lollipop Flower I cut out using um, red and black cardstock. I just freehanded the circles. I used a small heart punch that I embossed with clear embossing powder for the center. I edged around the tag in black ink. The bird stamp is from Ink and Dink and Do, and the sentiment is from Studio G. I used three small red rhinestones at the bottom. And this tag was also sprayed with the homemade Perfect Pearls Mist. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. You guys are fantastic. I appreciate every single one of your comments. So thanks again. Have a great day. Bye.